So this one's quite a big deal. This is the blockbuster of the summer, even though we're not actually technically in summer yet. And is the sequel to, I believe, the third highest grossing film of all time, Avengers Assemble. And this Age of Ultron is also my most anticipated film of the year, even beating out things that are due to happen a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away later on. That was second to this. And don't worry, this review, of course, is completely spoiler free. So is it any good? Yeah, of course it's good. Uh, essentially, and I know how lazy this is going to sound, but it's the most accurate way I could kind of come up with it. This is Avengers Assembled, bigger, funnier brother. The action is, as expected, great. Uh, it's, I mean, it's the cornerstone of any superhero film, any Marvel film. The fights are spectacular and they don't disappoint. The first film, the first Avengers film, surprised me and I think maybe surprised a lot of people by how funny it was. It was obviously an action superhero film, but it was really genuinely funny. This film is borderline a comedy at times. This film is incredibly funny and had me laughing my head off more than once. It has great one-liners, but even just characters' reactions to each other and the faces they pull, because these characters are more familiar with each other, they're just hysterical at times. We also get more development between the characters in this film. These characters now know each other more, and different relationships, friendships, etc. are forming within the group. We have some new guys in the new film. Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, even though they aren't ever actually referred to as that, they are referred to as the twins, and I really like them. Scarlet Witch especially is awesome. She was brilliant in this. I loved every scene she was in. We do get more backstory for a few of the characters. There's more character development in this film. Uh, this is especially true for Hawkeye and Black Widow. Hawkeye is so much more fleshed out in this film. And he, he goes from essentially being a, a little bit of a bit part player in the Avengers. Let's be honest, everyone thought the same thing. He is great in this film. He is actually my favourite character in this film. Or at least he would be if Ultron wasn't around. Ultron is completely awesome. I absolutely loved him. James Spader is fantastic as Ultron. His voice is perfect that character. He is at once intimidating and menacing. He is also really sarcastic and is incredibly funny. He is the funniest character in the whole film. I know I keep on referring back to the Avengers in this review, but that's for a specific reason and it's actually the main flaw in this film. This film, to me anyway, felt a lot like as opposed to a true sequel to the Avengers, it felt like Avengers 1.5. There was more character development with certain characters, but other than that, there wasn't that much of a step forwards for me that I was hoping for. I really enjoyed the film, but I didn't get that sense as I did with Avengers 1. When I came out of the cinema on Avengers 1, I'm not exaggerating here, I came out going, because what I just watched had blown me away completely. This film didn't do that. It has a lot of similarities to the first film, but because of that, it doesn't feel like it has that progression. It doesn't feel like it is that next step along that The Avengers was. It, the Avengers felt like that culmination to phase one of the Marvel project. This, it was the culmination of stage two, phase two, but it didn't feel like it really had that bang to it that the first one did. Thank you for listening to my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And of course, feel free to like the video or subscribe.